Also in Manchester, a swarm of bees attacked today. Hundreds of them stung at least six people, leaving one city worker so swollen he was unrecognizable. WBZ's Beth Germano is live right now in Manchester, New Hampshire, with more on this story. Beth? Well, this is the tree behind me where that worker was removing a damaged limb and had no idea he was about to upset a whole bunch of bees who didn't hesitate to come after him. And it would take a pretty brave neighbor to enter the swarm and help him. Well, there's, there's where one of them got me. One of them got me right there in my back. Bee stings all over Randy Graham, but not nearly as many as the parks and rec worker he ran to help, stuck in a bucket truck after hitting a bee's nest. I didn't phase me. I was more interested in him. And what was he saying to you? Oh my God, help me, help me, help me. The worker was cutting down this old tree damaged in Monday's storm when he unsuspectingly cut right through the nest, angering thousands of bees. But in a panic, he was caught in the bucket by his harness belt. So he was just hanging there and the bees were just having a field day on him. And what I did was I lifted him up, unhooked him from the uh, boom, the protecting gear, mm -hmm. and then um, I brought him down, I took him right over to the hose and we started hosing him down. Pest control workers suited up to try to clear the area, where neighbors had also grabbed hoses to get a path to the worker who was covered. It was a dark enough swarm of bees that at times it was difficult to see the guy underneath them. A lot of it in his head, um, chest, arms. Parks and Rec manager Dan Pinard visited his employee in the hospital where he was rushed. Nurses telling him this was a lucky call. And there was three people working on him that were actually with tweezers pulling the stingers. Out of them and they said they lost count after 100 something. He sliced into the top of that. But it's Randy Graham being credited for not thinking twice. You saved his life. Mm -hmm. That's what military do, right? Randy Graham was stung about 30 times. He says he was in the special forces, and that's what you do. The good news is the worker is expected to make a full recovery. Reporting live from Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.